Hello, all my beautiful Libra Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your June 1st through 15th, 2022 reading. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means, if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. With that, we'll go right on into the energy. Well, this is stability. We've got the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Now, this is an offer from Divine. And I want to tell you, it doesn't always show up in the material world. It shows up as ideas and information sometimes. And you don't understand what it is until it, it is relevant to you. So be open to whatever's coming your way, and especially if you're being, if you do get physically offered something, check it out really good before you say no to it, because this usually means it's a blessing in a brown paper bag, which means it doesn't look as auspicious as it is, and it's meant that way. The universe doesn't want you to choose it because it's shiny and sparkling. It wants you to choose it because you want it. Okay, and then we go into the four of pentacles, and that's the energy of money in the bank and financial stability, and I'm already receiving it. I don't know about y'all, but my Libra self is saying, hell to the yes. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit beautiful creativity of the Empress, the Divine Feminine being in the energy of all new things coming in, being in a place of absolute prosperity as you're being guided towards what you are building from the ground up. So here we go. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, what a beautiful energy to start with, and here we go. <clears throat> We have the Six of Wands. This is the energy of success. This is the energy of achievement and coming through the battle victorious. So head and shoulders above the rest, being in a place of moving forward in the energy of creation. Had to have a sip of water there. Sorry, guys. And we have the King of Pentacles. This is the energy of abundance. This is either you being in that place where you've made the... the stability here and then you've got all of your ducks in a row and you're sitting right on top of that gold mine or someone coming in to help you with it so we we'll like we like this financial commitment it's very much in the energy of standing your ground and creating something very abundant so we love the king of pentacles king midas there's that four of cups coming in it is an offer so it looks like there is other people involved and usually we have to remember that success is always about having a group effort in some way shape or form which means divine is also considered a group right it is the collective so whether it's the collective giving you this information and divine insight or it's an individual helping to guide you in this way it is meant for your highest good and it is an authentic offer. It's not something negative. That is the hand of the universe bringing this to you. So don't push it away just because it doesn't look like you thought it would. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, always a welcome energy, the Garden of Eden. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is where you believe in your heart and soul that the universe is conspiring in your favor and that it brings you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it, every single time. Looking forward, making plans, letting your heart be open, seeing the, the silver lining here as the light begins to be exposed from the dark shadow energy that we've been in for the last several years. And we're moving forward. We're ready to make plans. We're ready to live again. And this is looking hopeful and, and opportunistic here as you look at this beautiful new possibility around the corner. Now, we've got the Ten of Swords, which means the burden is lifted. 
Okay, so the energy of being feeling under attack or, or having a damper or a wet blanket put on you, uh, even feeling targeted by negativity, this is releasing all of those that negativity. This is the end of that cycle. So this, the universe is lifting that off. You've completed all of that, and it's ready. We're ready to go. And here comes the lightning strike, always preceding a big event. So that's the energy change that's happening. It may be an epiphany that you have, a divine idea, all of a sudden out of the blue. It could be someone contacting you all of a sudden out of the blue. So be open. Hello, Hierophant. This is the Taurus Major Arcana. And this means being in the energy of a large organization. So whether it's your organization, where you currently work, or a new job, or something that you're developing, the Hierophant is the energy of being welcomed in, being told you have, you're granted permission. So if you've applied for something, that's the answer. Now, we've got the Magician, Master Manifester. So if you are creating something, a large organization. Uh, allow yourself to stay in that manifestor's mind and create your best possible life using your heart chakra and divine light as you pull it through. This is the energy creator that does not bring negative karma. Okay, so. And our beautiful queen of swords, the Libra queen. So as we see this beautiful energy, you see that light on the end of her saber. It looks very much like this light has moved now to this energy. Now, we have the ability, as Libras, to be very charismatic. We have a, the ability of the gift for gab. We do. We never meet an enemy. Um, and, and even when we have an enemy, they, we try not to show them that they have any power like that over us, right? So, being in the energy of being fully activated in your light Knowing that what you're doing is for your highest good and the good of all others. Being in this energy, this means acing a job interview or acing the project you're working on here. And there's the money. The money's already been dispatched by the universe and on the way. And I say amen and amen. Snap, snap, snap. Bring it on, universe. We'll take it. So having the funding already on the way for you is a big relief. Now, this is reminding you, don't try to make it make sense. Whenever the universe is bringing something, it usually brings it in an unconventional way so that you absolutely know the universe did it, right? So, let go of the need to make it add up together and, and understand it. Sometimes you don't have to understand something. Like I say before, if somebody was to deposit a million dollars in your bank account, and their only thing was that if you wanted to keep it, you couldn't find out who it was from. I'm good with that. I don't know about y'all, but I, I could I could get around that. I don't need to know who it's from. As long as it hits the bank account and it's it's solvent. Hey, thank you, Jesus Lord, whoever I'm thanking, all the universe at large, whoever sent it to me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't turn away what's meant for you because you need for it to make sense. Miracles don't make sense, my dears. That's why they're called miracles. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Libra, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, we've got the Queen of Rods, and you know that's the big boss lady energy. New, beautiful fertility, and hey, you know, we're building an empire here, so you got to be the lead. Be in that energy of the champion and let yourself move forward. Now we have the seven of rods, which is saying, don't let anybody else TT in your Cheerios, <laughs> basically, okay? So we don't want everybody's opinion. So that's part of the reason why we have to be careful who we share our dreams with and our, and our creation with. Um, 
just stand your ground and know that you're following your and when you, when you know you're following what you've been told nothing anybody else says matters as long as you stay true to you to all believers and that's the energy of stay in your faith what you believe will be true for you so that's that cup coming in right there with that and we had that twice so the four of cups is a definite contender in the energy of change so there's the world card beautiful new doorway opening this is a new cycle beginning and dancing right on through it is the virgo and the vortex has been created by all the elements of air, water, earth, and fire. Now we have the high priestess. And the high priestess is your energy of highest frequency. When you're in the high priestess energy, you're in the flow. So allow yourself to look forward and, and start the creation process through being open to what's available and what's trying to show up for you. Now, you've got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So, sometimes we've been under the gun for quite a bit. And we've been holding this energy of trying to hold off everybody. Trying to, you know, bombard us with negativity. This Nine of Swords is, is the rite of passage. You have to be able to conquer your fear in order to move forward. And that's why this is here. Not because this is resurrecting. But because in your mind... You don't truly believe all of it has passed. So g convince yourself, okay? This is the truth. You you are the one putting those swords up, and that's just because you're out of your comfort zone. And when we step out of our comfort zone, fear is the first thing to greet us. But guess what lives on the other side of fear? Success, abundance, prosperity, joy, happiness, health and healing. Get past the fear, you get all the rewards. Here's the Emperor, fully manifested energy of the Aries Major Arcana, and it is the masculine of the universe. So you have the, the feminine earlier in the, in the cut cards as the Empress. So the masculine means fully formed and ready to go. Something ready for you to begin. Step right into it. Now we have the Two of Cups. This is like-minded energy, whether it's a partnership or it's your higher self showing up. Remember, you're building an empire here. That's at least that's what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so we're whatever empire, large or small, right? So this is the energy of being in that motion of everybody that's working with you or for you is in sync. Everybody's going toward the common goal. Everybody's making moves to accelerate the process and not to slow it down or cause any diversion. Resurrection, the judgment card, being fully restored and brought back to life. This may be something that you tried to do in the past that was uh, not, not available because of circumstances beyond your control. And Archangel Gabriel is coming in to revive that for you in a bigger way. Now, when you feel the energy of like, oh my gosh, you know, life is so hard and I'm so tired and I don't know what to do about it because I'm just really tired of having to get out here and just swing for the fences. My arms hurt. I've got a couple of wounds. I don't want to do any more battles. Well, this is battle fatigue. And you don't have any more battles in front of you. You just need to stand your ground. There are battles coming, but not right now. And so you do have time to restore and rejuvenate and allow yourself to let good things come in. So stand your ground in the ground you've gained and then allow yourself to be in the energy of winning over whoever it is you're speaking to here because this Queen of Swords is all about presentation and, and you can do it. You just find your voice, be authentic, and you will get past that Five of Swords. There's the Four of Cups again. It's been a standing energy throughout the entire reading beginning middle and end so there it is don't overlook your blessing just because you don't see it right allow yourself to investigate further before you say no the money's on the way we have victory we are in the lead we have openings we have all kinds of good energy moving around we have the ability to manifest and rest be restored and put in the energy of good guidance and ability to work together the only things that are causing any issue is letting go of the past so please let go of the past don't listen to other people's negativity and allow yourself to be fully in your highest frequency for in creating from there you can't lose 
This is an amazing reading for you, my Libra friends. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I send you love, light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and prosperity to you all. Namaste.